police uh, have arrested these five women. In fact, just a short while ago, I was able to speak to a police officer involved in the investigation. What they're saying is that they believe these people are part of a larger gang that has been targeting single females traveling to India and specifically among those Japanese tourists because uh, the police officer said that at least one of the people they've arrested speaks fluent Japanese. Uh, as far as this case is concerned, the student arrived in the eastern city of Calcutta on 20th of November. Um, that's when these two men who were claimed they were tourist guides approached her uh, and she was actually raped over a period of a month in several locations, uh, including Bodh Gaya and Bihar and another place uh, in Bihar as well. Uh, three of them were arrested on the day that she made the complaint through the Japanese consulate in Calcutta. That's the 26th of December. Two others were arrested on the 1st, but they're still on the lookout for what they think is perhaps a larger gang. Do we know how she managed to escape? Well, her condition deteriorated because she was living in not very good conditions and she became quite ill. Uh, and then it, it seemed like they put her on a bus to Varanasi, which is a city in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh. And from there, she managed to come to Calcutta and finally file a complaint. She went to the Japanese consulate first and through them she was able to file this complaint. Uh, the police have said that she's still in India and she's assisting with the investigation.